Good morning, Commonwealth. Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. So I'm going to run over to Abernathy Farm real quick. By the way, the reason we're going over to Abernathy is I want to see if they have more Tatoes, because we're almost out, or we pretty much are out of Tatoes for um, animal stew, for crafting that. I need some as well, just to be able to plant them later on. Um, I also want to check to see if Connie has a scythe, because that's where I got my scythe last time, and it was incredibly good. It was really, really strong, so we're going to see if she has one for trading. It looks like they're just waking up, actually. She does! Connie! Connie, Connie, Connie. Okay, we're getting this for sure. I think there's a lot of damage, and uh, it'll save us a lot of ammo. Where are my valuables at? Why do I not see them here? I didn't grab any valuables. Crap. Oh, that's fine. I'll, just, I'll go ahead and just trade for it then. That's fine. I don't want to talk. You just want your scythe. Let's bind that to one. Yeah, guys, it's a lot more damage. You won't need it. Not with this scythe, I won't. So you guys can just go take them out yourself with this thing. So there are some Tatoes that have respawned here. I think maybe just the ones that are actually being farmed. Like, not all of them. Or maybe they're just respawning right in front of my eyes. I don't know. But... I think not all of them are actually being farmed by these guys. They have the melons in the back, too. Anyway, though, that's what I came here for. We'll check the melons, too, and get those, because why not? Can make some melon juice later on. It's useful for some stuff, I forget. Um, what I was going to tell you earlier is that I did some testing on weapons, energy weapons specifically. Looked at, like, laser rifles, um, the various different... Lots of different stuff. Laser rifles, um, gang lasers, combat plasma rifles, stuff like that. All the, the custom stuff that Zonal's done. What I've found is that the gang laser is not as good as I thought it was initially. And that's because I think in one of the patches, Zonal changed a couple things. And I, I think that it was mostly because those, those changes were unintentional. For example... It benefited from both the Master Commando specialization as well as the Energy Weapon specialization. So it was getting damage from both of those, 20% from each, I think. And that really helped it a lot. I think those are multiplicative with each other, so it's, it's hard to explain, but basically it was doing a lot more damage than I think he intended. Now, unfortunately, how it is now is extremely underpowered, especially given a lot of other factors as well. Let me get a save in here too. I don't want to lose that scythe. We need some food. More rat stew will do. I think we're still hungry though. Yeah, we're still hungry. All right. Let me get some more stuff. Uh, another mole rat stew maybe. Noodle cup we can drop off the purified water. Everything else as well. I know I should put that stuff in here, but uh, I'm being lazy today. Got a bunch of fertilizer. That's nice. Dump that in our plant nursery here. Got a bunch of these, too. That's cool. All right, got plenty of fertilizer. Drop that in here. Gonna just dump everything else in here for now. But yeah, uh, so... The Gatling Laser is severely underperforming right now, in my opinion. Now, of course, that's my opinion. You can, you can disagree with me if you want. But it's my playthrough. I want to have fun with it. So I did a bunch of testing, and I went ahead and modded uh, the Gatling laser using a custom patch. I think we're just going to take all this stuff off, because we're not going to use it in there, since we're going to be in power armor. Uh, what I've done is change the base damage on the Gatling laser from 1, or not 1, sorry, from 10 all the way up to uh, uh, 15. And that sounds like a lot. It sounds pretty severe, actually, but... If you look at the custom um, plaza rifle and like some of the other stuff, like the assault rifle, which I would consider to be like the nice like end tier weapons, it's really not that much. It's really pretty much on par with them, especially when you consider that uh, the damage it does is so small and against heavily armored targets, it's going to do very, very poorly. So you're much better off using a high damage per shot weapon, of course, as opposed to a high fire rate weapon. And to balance it a bit better, that's what I did. 
I, I wish that I knew more about modding so I could do a bit more of a, I don't know, a bit more of a balanced way of doing it, but I don't. So it is what it is. We're just going to have to deal with it like that. Um, if you guys know how to make it benefit from both the Master Commando Specialization as well as the other one, if you have that knowledge on how to change that for the patch, I'd love to hear that. Maybe then I could uh, take the damage down a bit on it, the base damage. I would like it to be a weapon that kind of requires you to be very end game, but once you have all the requirements, because I mean, you know, it requires seven strength to use, so there's a requirement. If it required also the Master Commando Specialization as well as the Cyborg Specialization, that makes, makes it require level three to do max damage. Um, if it requires all that to do damage that's just on par, okay, DPS that is just on par with the custom plasma rifle, I'd be okay with that. So anyway, currently the DPS on it in the end game is just, like I said, on par with the custom combat, uh, or custom uh, plasma rifle. How have you survived that hit? I'm shocked, honestly. Did he run away? He did. Whatever, I'm not going after him. Am I, am I poisoned? Yeah, damn it. That's not a good way to start our day. Oh, there goes the last poison antidote we have. I kind of want to kill this guy now because I don't want to get poisoned. I don't want him to come and try to fight me. Halfway through and I'm fighting the raiders and stuff. Why am I stuck here? He's really close to dead. Why is this not bound? Take that. I get like two experience there. Oh, by the way, if, I'm sure you've just noticed that I have the uh, floating, floating damage text going. That was also part of my efforts to test out damage output because it, it's it's not just sheet damage you have to take into account. You know, you, you can't just look at, you can't just go into here and say, oh, well, this does, you know, 127 DPS, so all the other weapons should do 127 DPS. That's not all you can take into account. There's the damage per shot, the range, the clip size, how costly is it to make the ammo? Those are all things you have to take into consideration whenever you're balancing a weapon. Now, the the Gatlin laser is great because in terms of raw DPS, if you don't take into account armor or anything else, it's extremely efficient. Uh, the electron charge cells are one of the most efficient ammos when using that thing. So it's great for that, but when you take into account armor, it's actually much, much, much worse than anything else. And that's even armor of, like, regular enemies, you know? Just raiders and stuff, you know? So, yeah, it's nowhere near as good once you take all that into account. Let me kill these guys quickly. Pretty sure I just lopped off that raider's head. It's pretty awesome. Grab him, dog meat. Grab him. No, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Keep your pants on, Garvey. Get our save in here. So, yeah, I did a bunch of testing to try and figure out, you know, what's a, what's an appropriate amount. Uh, the end game, the custom plasma rifle, that does approximately, uh, trying to think here, I, I, about, about 1,100 or 1,200 DPS. So by making the base, with, with like max mods and the specialization for it and everything, so by making the base of the Gatling laser... Um, 15 instead of 10, it brings it up to be about in line with that, which I think is pretty reasonable. Uh, it's an endgame weapon. The thing is, it's going to do way less damage still. Like, it's it's not going to do... Even though the, the DPS is the same, it does way less damage in practice because it doesn't hit as hard, so therefore less of the damage gets through armor. More, more of its damage gets absorbed by armor, basically, is how it works. 
So it's still nowhere near as good in practice. But because it's more energy, it's more efficient in terms of using your energy cells, it's more efficient. And because it's a little bit easier to aim, I think, it doesn't have travel time, so it uses hit scan. That makes it a lot easier to shoot stuff with it. And because it has a, a much bigger clip, you can sustain fire for longer. I think it's about balanced. That said, I'll probably still use the combat or the uh, custom plaza rifle instead of it in many cases. Like for really heavily armored targets, I'll probably use the uh, plaza rifle instead just because it's so much more efficient. Other thing is, the plaza rifle is extremely efficient in terms of uh, the ammo cost because it requires both gunpowder and energy cells. It, it requires half of each. What that means is that, you know, when you're out killing people and scavenging stuff, you can use up all of your extra, all of your extra stuff, all your extra um, ammo with that. That's really nice. Like, or all of your extra, you know, gunpowder and energy cells with that. It's really nice. It's very, very handy to be able to use it all up in one place. Pop this bad boy open. What do we get? Please, please be over 50% because gotten bad luck. Well, at least 51. Okay, so, you know, I'll take it. I'm gonna save there again as well, just just in case I crash or something and I come back and I get a uh, a lower percent than that. I'd be very upset. I wonder if they're gonna be their entire attention is gonna be on uh, Preston. Looks like it. I killed him. Where is he? Nice, two headshots there. Pop, pop, and down he goes. I find the third person aiming to be a lot easier with this thing. If if I have an iron sight that is over um you know, uh, aiming down the iron sights. I don't, I don't aim very well with this thing. Much bigger fan of the reflex sights. So yeah, anyway, I made a patch for it, and I also took off the spin-up time, because I think spin-up time is stupid. Um, Gatling guns, well not, ga Gatling guns don't really apply here, but, um, because it's not, I mean, it's not hand-cranked, you know? But, um, miniguns in real life don't have spin-up time either. That's, you know, kind of silly. I mean, you could argue, well, you know, we don't, there's no such thing as a 5mm mini, minigun anyway. It's all like 20mm or, or above, I think. But the point being, guys, that uh, it, it has to be fun for me to use, you know? That's, that's the biggest thing. So I'm going to mod it to be how I think it would be fun. Oh god. That that headshot. That was beautiful. Good job, dog meat. Great teamwork. Yeah, I'm gonna mod it to where I think it's fun. Doesn't mean I want it to be overpowered, it just means I want it to be reasonable. I want it to be a reasonable choice to use the um getting laser in the end game over the uh custom plasma rifle. I still think I'll probably end up using the plasma rifle more than anything else though, to be entirely honest. I think I think I will, because it's just so damn efficient to be able to use up all of your scavenged uh, smokeless powder and energy cells. You get so much more bang for your buck that way. Like all of my spare gunpowder is gonna go into making plasma cells and I'll probably end up running out of energy cells. So I'll probably end up using that thing more than anything else. So anyway, that's what I've done. I may make a uh, no spin up on the minigun patch in the future, just if people request it, if they want it. Personally, I don't ever use a minigun besides, like, this sequence, so I'm not too worried about it. Look at that damage. These are what I'm talking about, guys. Like, you know, this thing does really big damage, and the modifiers, this thing only does, like, 50-some damage? How much is it? Let me check here. Okay, 75, I guess. But I did 223 damage there with a the headshot. That's, you know, it's a lot. 
this thing is really, really efficient because of the massive amount of damage it does. Just in general, any weapon that does really high damage per shot is more efficient. Now keep in mind too that the, the plasma rifle, I might have mentioned this already, but the plasma rifle does do split damage, which makes it a little bit less powerful than some other stuff. Anyway, let's talk to let's talk to Preston here. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minute. God damn it. You owe me, buddy. You owe me. Yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're out of this mess. All right, sounds good, Garvey. I could use a chest full of emeralds. Not sure what for. Uh, but uh, you know, who are these people? Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's a tough break, man. Tough break. You don't know the half of it. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. God damn it. Well, I'm looking for some hired help, Garvey, so, you know, if you can be useful to me, maybe I'll get you out of this. Better be a good one. Sturgis? So I had a whole fancy plan about fixing up a suit of power armor. And here you are, walking in like some kind of metal miracle. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, it's got a minigun, and it seems to be intact. Wearing that armor, you could rip it right off. Then those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Yeah, sure, why not? But you guys owe me. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you, that power armor, and that minigun show up outside, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. I don't need luck, Garvey. Nice. Hmm. Garvey, your friend here, he's he's typing on an invisible keyboard in midair. I think he's making clicking sounds like he's actually using a keyboard too with his mouth. You, you think he's, like, mentally sound? I don't want to bring any unsound people into my settlement, you know? Excellent. That old lady's talking about something weird, too. I'm just gonna ignore her. Pretty surprising she's lived this long as an old lady, too. But, still, we got people to kill. Anyway, last I'll say about the whole uh, plasma and getting laser, the patch I did and everything, is that it does a little bit less DPS, but it's much, not much more, but it's it's uh, a decent amount more efficient on uh, ammo if you consider, you know, a one-to-one -one ratio or whatever. Come on, reload it, Nora. Come on, I got places to be. I've got this. I don't I don't think you got it, Preston. Hurt bad. Preston's hurt bad. Would you guys Oh my god, you're gonna you're gonna run all the way back now? I'm gonna run away. You're gonna run away like a scared kitten, are you, Gristle? Alright. 
So, minigun time. Just for the fact that, uh, well... We need that sustained DPS, you know? That's not very good damage. Wait, how much is it doing there? Just like one or two? Ow. What about the uh, laser musket? Might be a bit better. You know, in terms of doing decent damage there. Rip Raider. Whoa, dog meat just got wrecked. Get at him. Eh. How is this missing? How the hell is it missing? Sorry, Curly. You serious? Fun while it How was that missing, guys? You saw I was point blank shooting him right in the head. The fuck was that? It had to be clipping somehow. That was stupid as hell. Here goes all of our caps. Come on, take them all. Yeah, it's fine. Forty caps removed. I, I don't get it, guys. I don't understand how I lost. Maybe I'll look back when I was recording it and see that I actually was missing horribly, but I don't think so. I think I was right on with that. One more up here, then we should be done. Gotta loot everything, though, obviously, but yeah, should be good. I mean, if that's not clipping, I don't know how that other one clipped. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop bitching about it. Let's go around and get some stuff here. But yeah, anyway, I was also talking uh, about melee builds and stuff. Melee is pretty viable too now. I tested that previously as well. It's a bit difficult for the fact that you really. It's hard end game because you take a lot of damage. Um, getting to, it's not so much the fact that it's not enough damage output, it is enough damage output, I think. It's the fact that you lose so much health getting to your target a lot of the time. So it's just not always super viable. Basically, you, you lose less health with a, with a range weapon because when you're killing stuff with range, you kill it more quickly because you don't have to get to it to actually damage it. Not to say that melee is uh, not good. Like I said, I, I've used it right there. It's great. It's amazing for conserving ammo, obviously. Just not so great when you're trying to conserve your health. Anyway, let's go and talk to Preston. Get that done. We'll talk to the rest of the gang there and get him over at Sanctuary. Get our our real journey and horizon started here. Making sure we got everyone here. As far as these guys go, I think we did. We gotta we gotta loot this place properly afterwards. Um, how much weight? I, I'm almost full, but we've got some left. Let's go talk to Whiny Preston. Go pick up our hired help. All right, folks. I've got two rules: you work, you eat. It's that simple, and you don't touch my stuff. Those are the rules for Sanctuary. If you're all right with that, that you can come over and live with me. Display. I'm just glad you're on our side. I am pretty amazing, aren't I, Preston? Stop kidding yourself. You're nothing to me. I don't be that mean. That mean. Um, but yeah, sure. Everyone okay? You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while, anyway. 
we can at least move some. Listen, when we first met, you said we owed you for helping us out. I guess you've earned it. So here. Emeralds? It may not be a chest full of emeralds. Oh. But it'll have to do. You promised me a chest full of emeralds, Garvey. You're going to have to work this off the rest of your life. So, uh, you know, I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Spoken like a true merc. Well, if you ever feel like fighting for something other than yourself, you should meet up with us in Sanctuary. I could use someone like you. Someone who can get things done. Yeah, because you people clearly can't. But yeah, I'm in. Just remember my two rules. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. Yay, the crazy lady. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Don't give me that destiny crap. Don't give me that destiny crap. I just saw you go toe to toe with a 20 foot tall irradiated lizard. You telling me you can't keep an open mind after that? Uh, it's more like 10, Garvey. Let's let's not, you know, distort the it's truth all here. All right, Preston. Not everyone understands the sight. But I don't need you to believe. I just need you to listen. What if, what if, like, Garvey accidentally pulled the trigger? Just, he's pointing his, his laser musket right at, at, uh, Ma Murphy. What if he just, like, nudged the trigger in an accident and just blew her head off? It'd be so great. <laughs> Make me laugh so much. Uh, where is my son? Where is Sean? Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel Bam. his Bam! Mama Marie's head's force, gone. His Boom. energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Is that Green's where Preston's city, emeralds are? The biggest settlement around. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Let's just get this woman to shut up. That's vague. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. Oh, here's the pitch. The will paint a clearer picture. Yeah, here's the pitch. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That jump. Of course. Gonna kill you. All right, you guys come over to Sanctuary. I'll put you to work. Man, chem addicts will say anything to get a fix. There's no way I'm trusting a word, she says. All right, well, it's time to go through and get all of our loot, make sure we gotten everything here. We got to level up, too. Let's see. I think since we have the option now, we'll go ahead and get Locksmith, and then at level 6, I guess we can get the next the next rank. This one, the, the safe in here, requires a level we don't have yet, though. So that's not going to be worth doing. I'll probably run around over here, not in power armor, out of it, just so I can be more efficient with my fusion cores, because right now I don't have enough fusion cores to be taking my power armor with me if I'm not going to be in combat. I will do the sewers real quick, though. See if I can clear that out, and then uh, we'll go back up to Sanctuary and put these folks to work. So, let's go into the... Let's see, back over here is the best way to go down. Actually, no. The way a death claw came is the best way to go down, because then you can make sure you get everything. Part of it's walled off, and you can't... Maybe you can get up if you're... I don't know. If you go down this way, I'm not sure if you can actually get ever, access to everything. Well, at least they go... They finish their dialogue whether you're there or not. I don't really care to listen to it. Your guys' problems are not my problems. But if you can work for me and make me a nice profit, well, then maybe we can get along. Nice, got some energy cells. This one's an expert one, too. Yeah. Locks really strong. I don't think I have any more of these. Nope. Can't use that. Let's go and check out what was down here. Did we get all this stuff, too? I think we did. Yeah, I might look into patching laser rifles, too, if, if that's uh, if that's feasible. Not to say that laser rifles are totally bad if they use the uh, API cells, the MX fusion cells. The MX heavy fusion cells, which is, like, a lot required to make those. They use those, their DPS is actually quite good. Not DPS, their DPS is always horrible, but their damage per shot is very good. They're a decent sniper weapon, I guess, but... Oh god, that's... that... thing moving scared the hell out of me. 
Anyways, overall, I'm not super impressed with the energy weapons. So yeah, I had to had to patch them a bit. Let's get through here. And of course, I'll well, after I test that patch a bit and make sure that it doesn't like crash the game, it doesn't change anything. All it does is like changes the base damage number. It overwrites Horizon's version. So, I mean, it shouldn't be any problem. Yes. But I've never made a mod before. This is my first one. But yeah, assuming it works okay, I will upload it to Nexus and link it in the description later on so you guys can check it out. If you want to play with my style, you can. Make sure we get pretty much everything here. Get the old scythe out. Take care of these mole rats. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had this earlier. I should have bought this from day one, man. Maybe I tried and I just couldn't find one. This weapon's so great, man. Make sure we get this Meyer Lurk taken care of. He's a glowing one, isn't he? There's a lot of stagger on it. That was kind of nuts, actually. Get up there. Come on, you can do it. Malfunctioning, of course. No luck for me. Hey, a hunting rifle. Hell yeah. What what's uh with the stats on that thing? Oh my god, it's not it's not even uh no issues with it. It's, it's just a regular one. That's amazing. That's incredibly good luck. Let me get a save in so we don't crash and lose that. Alright, well, there's our sniper weapon. We just have to get a scope for it. Which I think you can make a regular scope. Pretty sure you can craft one without too much issue. I do have gun nut rank one, so it shouldn't be a problem to get that. But that's gonna be really nice. That'll be really key when we do Corvega. We'll have anywhere near as much problem doing Corvega if I can snipe people from uh, the outside. Remember last playthrough, the Raider playthrough, I didn't get a hunting rifle before doing that. I had real issues taking on the guys on the outside. Took a lot of damage. I should, you know, I should probably use a bandage or two here. We did take quite a bit of damage doing that. I mean, we didn't take that much. I mean, well, we took like three bandages worth, three adhesive worth, which is bad enough. I got all you guys, right? Yeah, pretty sure I did. Okay, so we got all that stuff over there. We got all this stuff. Uh, we didn't go over inside this thing. Or up on top, and then... Do that and we'll be done, I think. Did I go over here? Yeah, I went over here already. Did not go back here. Got it. Okay, it should be everything, I think. I like that it updates you every time you get a skill up or every time you do anything with the lock picking and stuff, it lets you know. So what I'll probably do... Oh, God, that's... Oh, God, that was disgusting. Scared the hell out of me. What, what I'll probably do is go back, drop stuff off, get everyone set up over at the settlement in Sanctuary, and then we'll take off the power armor to, to conserve our fusion core. Something else that someone mentioned was that I should try to cut a bit more and maybe not 
show quite everything. Um, and I, I'm going to go ahead and disagree with that. In the past, I've cut a lot in my videos. Like, I cut like crazy. And I just don't think I like it as much anymore. I really enjoy when I watch someone else. I really enjoy when they're able to keep the commentary up and keep going without making any big cuts, you know. So, you know, a couple here and there are fine. If I am if I go and do something for like 20 minutes, um, it's fine. You know, something that I don't need to show you guys and it's going to be boring to watch. That's okay. But if I can possibly keep commentary going, I will. Now, there are exceptions like... If I'm walking for a very, very long distance, then I probably won't show it because if I'm walking like this, it's going to be very, very boring, you know, because I don't want to run because I want to use up my fusion core. But otherwise, I'll probably just try to keep a monologue going and just make as few cuts as possible because I think it's more immersive feeling whenever I'm watching someone else play like that. Got our bandage going here. I make some more of those. So yeah, anyway, uh, just wanted to address that really quickly. So far, no issues on uh, the trees, you know. It really adds a lot to me, although it does it does really reinforce that uh, these are flat textures. When you look at it, you know, you can really tell it's a flat texture. It's not actually three-dimensional. From a distance, like, over from, like from, from here, it looks fine. When you get up close, though, you can really tell it's not a 3D object, which is kind of bothersome, but, you know, it's fine. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, LOD load in there was kind of weird. I, I don't know if I... I think I told you guys last time, but I, I did patch the trees. Um, well, not the trees themselves, but the weathers. I reduced the wind strength quite a bit, so hopefully that's enough to do what I want to do. Let's go ahead and scrap all the junk. I'm going to try scrapping the spare armor and stuff in here, too, see if that works. Okay, we got that scrapped. Let's go ahead and start doing equipment. Ten of these, damn. I don't anticipate running into anyone while we're out there. Hopefully we don't anyway, because I'm not going to have any armor on if we do. That could be very, very bad, but I guess we'll see. Keep the mining helmet for sure. All right, let's see if it actually goes through now. Hopefully it does. I don't have my, um... Yeah, it's working. That's that's really nice. So happy it's working again. Such a bitch to scrap it all manually. Um, I don't think I can make my ZX-1 quite yet. I think I need science, right? Let me, let me check here real quick. Actually, we'll go ahead and put this power armor over here. Wait, how much weight do I have? That might be too much, actually. I'm just gonna dump all the weapons in here for now. Just put them all in. You know, I'll just keep the scythe. Probably nothing else, actually. So we can carry more. Then we'll go and drop our power armor off over here so we're not using up any more, any more charge than we have to. There we go. Alright, so, um... Are they are they here? They they're probably all over there. They all they always sit over there for some reason. Oh, there's one of them. It's probably Preston, derping around, walking over there. He sometimes walks like way out of bounds for some reason. Not sure why. All right, uh, can I make a ZX1? Let me check here. Um, not in there, duh. It's in crafting, not there. No, we need science. Just one science magazine would do it. What do we have in our mail? Anything? Nothing new. Uh, science mag would be great. It's gonna be a while. Well, it's not that long until I level up. Actually, if I, you know what? If I talk to Preston and stuff, we'll probably be leveling up. Let me go ahead and use a... Right away is a bit much, honestly, but oh, it's fine. We'll go ahead and do it. I'm gonna wait. Well, what time is it? Uh, it's fairly late in the evening. I'll wait till the next day before I use a bandage till we get the bonus healing. You heal more whenever you're well rested. So where is everyone at here? 
think this is Preston over here. I don't know why you're standing here, Preston. Can I talk to you now? I'm glad you decided to come with us. I bet you are. should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? I think if you work, you eat. It's that simple. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I was nice, Cube Preston. Forget I said anything. I don't want to talk about it. No worries. We've all got our past to deal with. I don't need to know anything you don't want to tell me. Anyway, I am glad you're here. I don't need to know anything about you at all, Preston. You just need to work for me. I hope you don't mind. But I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Minutemen out there. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Yeah, why not? More slaves. I like it. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Yeah, that man does need help. Typing on invisible keyboards. He's not right in the head, man. If it was up to me, I'd vote him off the island, but you know. Hey, he's your friend. I don't want to upset the boat here. Plus, he's free labor. All right, we got to level up. And that means, I guess we're going to go... Oh, we get vans. Thank God, we get vans. So that means we get a lot of skill points to deal with here. Okay, that's cool. So, um... What scrounger, for sure. This next level... I think we want science, too. Just so we can... Or maybe we'll just go with this. This is all I'd need. You know, probably should get this really early, like as fast as we can. Get nuclear physicist. But yeah, 20% more time on the fusion core. Sounds great. Plus, that allows us to also get the ZX-1, which is the only reason I would have gotten science anyway. So let's go ahead and make the ZX-1 experimentation station finally. Finally, it's here. And we'll be able to finally scrap all those damn weapons. Question is, where the hell do I put it? Oh, I have, I have two beds here. I totally forgot. I made two beds in an accident. Um, need a place to put this thing, man. Place it down. Let me just move it afterwards. Can I snap this thing? It does snap. Cool. I've seen worse placements. All right, it'll work. Cool, we got that. So let's get all the weapons out. In fact, we'll just, I think we'll just spam on this. And we're going to scrap a whole bunch of stuff, too. So many things. Okay. Oh, we're very over encumbered. That's fine. We're going to scrap everything here in a second. Do it, Nora. Reverse engineer it. Should get a bunch of experience here, too. Yep, 250, maybe more than that. Okay, well, that's not bad. Now I'd like to... I wish this table wasn't here, actually. Even though it, like, it has some flavor, I wish I could just put the ZX one over here. Um, I'm going to put my junk in here. I've already got my junk in here. Let's put um, the weapons I don't want to scrap in here. Anything that's not... This is actually pretty cool. It's not deteriorated, so I might, might use that. Anything that's not in bad shape, though, I'll put in here. We can save it for later. This is also not bad. What about a hunting rifle? We don't want to scrap. I don't think we're going to use this thing at all. To be entirely honest. This is probably not... Like, all these weapons are not really worth saving for anything. Maybe the machete is worth saving, but... The scythe, obviously, we don't want to scrap that. All this stuff is uh, ruined and stuff, though, so we can't really use it. Not really a point in worrying about it. Is there anything else I don't want to scrap? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we'll check some of these to make sure they don't have any good mods on them, but I think we're just going to probably scrap all this stuff. Let the spamming commence. And I messed up. Yeah, all these can go. Oh, 
we'll go back. None of these have any good mods that I want either. Nah, just scrap them all. Get rid of them all. Okay, we got some decent weapon parts from that though. That's what we wanted. Get our scythe. And uh, hunting rifle is good too. I, I'm not going to worry about it now though. I'll just take the scythe for now because we're going to be just going into Concord and just getting all the loot in there. Let me go through all this stuff as well. Make sure we've gotten all of our various stuff we want to put in our, um, you know, that thing, the farming thing. Make sure it's all in there properly. Beer plus, uh, beer plus bubblegum is adhesive as well. It's a recipe you can do. So that's cool. Want to make sure we get that done. All the tools need to go in here. And send all of our, um, magazines out in the mailbox as well to get some pre-war money to make sure we do that is that all are we good let's make sure we get this done too compost bin rotten grisly diseased all goes in there pretty sure all those can go in gonna dump the dog food's used for, like, beast master stuff, I think, to summon dogs in. I'm not going to really use it, I don't think, but whatever. We'll keep it around for now. Um, the cola, we'll keep one around in case we need it. Want that. Let's go ahead and scrap our... Can make some stew now, too, but I want to I want to make sure we get some potatoes going. You know, we want to make sure we use those up. Or not use those up, we want to make sure we plant those so that they can be harvested. So we can get more. I think we're yeah. Let's 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 just keep all those that we have in there as for now. I don't think I make a water purifier yet. Maybe. Let me check. Need workshop technology too. I can't do that quite yet. I've got ballistics. Oh, I need nuclear material and shotgun weapon parts. Okay, we're not gonna have that for a while then. What other ones do I have unlocked that I just can't make yet? None. Not a one. Okay, that's the one we're going to probably do then. Just can't do it yet. Fair enough. Let's dump our stuff into here. Let's do outgoing mailbox container. Dump all of our, our magazines over there. And yeah, we'll get money back from that then eventually. Get a save. So we just need to go down into Concord now and look at all the stuff. may take a little bit, but um, I'll try to show you guys everything. I know it's helpful. A lot, a lot of people like to kind of play along with me. Whenever I do a playthrough like this, they kind of like to play along with me, and they really get a lot of information out of uh, watching what I do, I think. So, even though for some people this looting process might be a little bit tedious, it does help a lot of people. So, you know, if you don't like it, hey, it's the end of the video. Go ahead and skip it. You're, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Well, a little bit. You, it will hurt my friends a little bit, but it is fine. Just don't tell me you're skipping it. I'll feel really bad if you do. But yeah, there's a couple houses we want to get around here. Some hub flowers and stuff. Horizon is really designed for you to get every last little bit of everything that you can. To literally just take everything. Some people don't like that. Personally, I'm fine with it. I always felt like there's all this stuff in the world, there's all this loot, and it, it really is a shame because players don't know what's worth picking up and what's not, and so they end up picking up nothing. It, it's such a pain in the butt trying to remember what's actually good and what's not, that people end up just not, not doing that part of the game at all. And uh, that's unfortunate in my opinion. Go up on top of here. This is kind of a pain. Uh, didn't get it. God damn it. There we go. We got it. If you hit it just right, you can get over it. Yeah, there's a guy up here with the... No guy, I guess. Just a bed. And some damaged shells. It's like seven gunpowder. That was not worth my time, to be honest. But you never know what's going to be in there. Could have been something good. Just because it wasn't doesn't mean it couldn't be. Before we go any further in, let's go ahead and go over here as well. Make sure we get all the houses and the um, 
the workshops and stuff, the speakeasy. I remember whenever I discovered the speakeasy, I was like, wow, there's like this entire building here. I just, I totally missed it the first time. Like there's so many of them are, are bored off and you can't tell if they have stuff in them. Very easy to miss them all. Might sound a bit insane to some people, but yeah, I really do know like all the loot places I think in uh, Concord, like every last little bit of it, I know where it all is. I've played this game way too much, guys. Of course, there are people that have like 10,000 hours in Skyrim, so I mean, I don't feel bad at all, but yeah, I've played a lot. There's nothing up on, on the top there. I can skip that. Let's go into the speakeasy. Bunch of adhesive and stuff in here, too. Taking all the things. Be nice once we have the cargo bot. Oh, you lost your, uh, your cigar. Where'd it go? I think it fell through you. Oh, well. Wait. Oh! It's, it's sitting here in midair. That's kind of funny. So I pretty much reached the end of the Subnautica story content, at least what's there for the new one, Below Zero. Very, very sad about that because I was really getting into it. Can't wait for them to add some more stuff. Don't know what it is about that game, but I really, really enjoy it. It's not my typical type of game either, and I, I think I've converted some of you guys over too, which is cool. A lot of people that thought they wouldn't enjoy it end up really, really liking it. Sweet. I was a bit surprised at just how pissed off people are about the whole Metro Exodus thing. I mean, you know, it's annoying, but like, having to download a a different game client, or not client, a different uh, game launcher, that would not deter me from playing a game I really wanted to play, you know? Definitely would not. I mean, it's annoying. Everyone doesn't want to pay Steam their cut, which is understandable. I mean, I think I think 30% or whatever it is, is way too high to pay to Steam for what, for what they do. I mean, they kind of have a, mon uh, not a monopoly, but well, yeah, kind of a, a monopoly. Like when people go looking for games, they look on Steam usually. Like I do that too. I'll just browse through my queue on Steam. I've found tons of good games like that and I've paid for them and downloaded them and played them. So it is kind of awesome as a discovery tool for your game, but I get why developers don't want to pay Steam an additional 30%, you know? That's, it. That's a really, really big cut. Especially when we're talking, you know, $500 million or so in sales, whatever, like, a really big game would make. That might be too high, actually. Maybe maybe more like 100000 or $100 million. But, I mean, yeah, it's that's a lot of money. And Steam doesn't do very much. You know, it's a host. It, it gives the download options. But, I don't know. I wouldn't... Whoa, I just kind of levitated a bit there. I wouldn't not play a game. I wouldn't boycott a game or refuse to play it because they decided to go with a different launcher. That's just my opinion, though. It wasn't, like, that big of a deal for me, I guess. I didn't like it. But I, I didn't have the visceral reactions some people seem to have had. If anything, I kind of sympathize with the developers for the whole thing, you know? I wouldn't want to pay 30% of my earnings. I mean, I, I do, you know, I pay actually 40%, I think, or more of my earnings to YouTube. But, you know, the big difference is that with someone like me, so with, with what I'm doing, you know, making videos on YouTube, uh, you guys would never, ever have found me if it were not for YouTube. Like, I, I wouldn't have a platform to put my videos on. I, I simply wouldn't be able to do what I do at all without YouTube. And so, even though 40% is a high amount, the fact that they allow me to exist at all is extremely worth it to me, you know? So, I'm, I guess, you know, I'm really at the, at the mercy of YouTube. I'm actually, I'm actually just kind of happy it's not more than 40% uh, or whatever it is now. I think it's 45% now is what they take. 
I'm actually surprised it's not more than that, like, you know, 60% to them, 40% to me. Because, yeah, there's no way I could I could set up a hosting service and all that. Of course, the problem with YouTube is that there's no competition for it. No good competition, anyway. I mean, you can say Twitch, but not really. They're, they're different platforms. They're very different. Not a, There's not a ton of crossover. People that only watch stuff on Twitch tend to, tend to stay on there and vice versa. Very hard to get people to switch platforms like that. Sweet. Man, no magazine. But yeah, I... I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just rambling. I don't like the situation of Metro Exodus, but I'm also fine with it. Gamers and money, the the two, you know, things, they're... Gamers are very weird about money, and I, and I confess to being the same way. I'm weird about it, too. Like, as an example, you know, Path of Exile, I spent like 40 bucks on that, and I thought that was fair. I got all of the tabs I wanted to store stuff with no problem for that much, and I thought, well, that's, that's pretty fair, you know? I've gotten pretty much everything I want there, and um, 40 bucks is a reasonable price for how much I played it. You know, I think it's a great game. And I'll probably play it again in the, in the future, so, you know, hey. And they keep they keep doing more updates and stuff to it, so... Which, I do see the updates and I realize, okay, this is a way for them to make some more money because they have this new mechanic in the game that requires you to, if you want to stay organized, requires you to buy additional tabs for your uh, stash, which means more money to them. But, you know, they've got to have some kind of income to keep them going, right? It's understandable. But, you know, there are people that spend hundreds of dollars on those games and they have no problem doing it. And, uh, you know, they say, well, you know, part of it is I want to keep a developer going. I want to support the developer. But when it comes to Bethesda, people don't want to do that. They want to pay their, their 60 bucks and then be done with it. And I kind of I kind of look at it and I think, well, you know, I've spent 2,500 hours playing Fallout 4. More than that, I've spent like 26 or 2,700 hours playing Fallout 4. Um... I got my money out of this game a long time ago. If you compare it to other games, like, I feel like I've gotten my money out of Doom, and I played that for, like, 40 hours and stopped. But I paid 60 bucks for it. So, you know, the the value of the game, of a Bethesda game, is usually pretty insane. Even even Fallout 76, people can bitch about that, and I, I do bitch about it, because I want I want to be able to keep, to keep playing, like, the game. I don't want to have to stop. Am I done here? I think I've gotten everything, haven't I? Are we done here? There's one building over here towards the Quidward Rocket. But yeah, I, I think the thing with 76 is that people would like to continue to play it. They want it to be the game they want it to be. And so that's why they're bitching about it. It's not it's not so much that they haven't gotten their money's worth. It, it's it's not always about that. You know, in some, some cases, like with Fallout 76, it's about the fact that you know, I don't want to play it anymore because there are dupers and cheaters who have ruined the experience for me. There's normally stuff on top of there, too. And it's just gone now. There's normally a lockpick up here and a bandana. I, I guess Zawanu removed those? Or maybe they just fell through the world. Not sure. Yes. Another sneaky, sneaky magazine. It's fine with me. Okay, I think we're done here. Oh, wait. I, I lied. There's one more thing. How much weight do we have left? Oh, we've got we've got plenty of weight left still. Wow, really? Kind of surprised, actually, I have so much weight left. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. There are also games I paid, like, full price for, and I, like, barely touched them. Like, Witcher 3. I always get into it, and then uh, the story's really good. And the side quests, the, the stories, the side quests are really good. Like, every single side quest is interesting. But that's not the thing that drives me in games. The story content is not what drives me. It, it really helps. I mean, don't get me wrong. The story has to be decent. But what really drives me in games is the gameplay. And in Fallout 4, it's the gameplay loop. Oh, that's a Yaogwai. And all I have is this. I don't know about that, guys. Hey. Yeah, maybe dog meat. Go, go, check go inspect that out. him, dog go. meat. 
I can take him, I'm sure. Why? Hey. Oh, there we go. Good job, dog meat. You kind of distracted him for a second there. That's all I needed. That means we get free stuff here. A whole lot of it, actually. No complaints, man. The scythe wins again. Nice. Hey, well worth it. Well, well worth it. But you know, like, I don't think... I don't think I could ever really get bored of Fallout 4. Not completely. I mean, I get bored of it from time to time and I want to play something else, but it's, it's kind of weird. Like, if I, if I get bored of it and I... If, if I, like, force myself to start playing it, I'll enjoy it, you know? Like, I'll get into it, and I want to play it some more. Nice to have variety, though. Like, it, it has been nice to play some Subnautica. Can't always be the same thing. You do get bored after a while. I get everything in here. Yeah, we looted this already. There's a tire up here that has some stuff in it. Oh, yeah, there's some stuff over here, too. Some mute fruit and a dead raider and some stuff. You need mute fruit blossoms to make the anthropod stew, I believe. So you want to actually keep some of those. That always confuses me because the the actual mute fruit don't go away here. So it looks like you haven't picked it, but it's just a texture. But uh, you need to keep some of those just as, um, you know, regular wild mute fruit or whatever it's called. You need to keep them as they are, not domesticate them. Let's see here. I just keep getting struck. I'm, I'm still not used to how good the game looks. I just keep, you know, just keep thinking, wow, it looks really good. Even though I've been playing it for um, a good amount of time here. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Oh, we got this already, didn't we? No, I didn't. Apparently I did not. There's just nothing in here, in that toolbox. Well, that's uh, interesting, I guess. We've got some room left. Well, not a lot, though. I'll go, um... Man, we'll just go back, I think. This feel the wind here feels really nice. It feels pretty immersive. Although, some of these are a little bit too much, in my opinion. Maybe not. Maybe they're fine. Should just stop complaining. Well, anyways, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here for this episode. I know I've rambled on quite a bit about some random stuff. Don't take anything that I say in a video to heart too much because when you're doing Let's Play videos and you're just commenting on stuff, you're just talking to talk. Like, it's really, it literally is just like diarrhea of the mouth. That's what I do so that I can just have something going and talk about something. And although they're my thoughts, they're not always like super coherent or well thought out or um, representative of like, I don't know, just just take everything I say with a grain of salt, is what I'm saying. You know, I just talk to talk so I can fill the emptiness, so you're not just watching me run around doing nothing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.